Hey everyone, I have a little bit of a twist on the traditional vodka martini. Today I'm going to make the emerald martini for you and uh, just calls for a little bit of green chartreuse and I'll show you how to do that right now. First of all, I've got my martini glass. It has been sitting in my freezer for quite a while and so it's nice and chilled. I have um, a little bit of dry vermouth or just plain vermouth. That is usually sitting in my fridge and that's actually what I have in this little glass bottle. It just makes for an excellent way to coat your glass so that you don't have to measure it out and roll it around. That looks absolutely beautiful. It's ready. Then I have my I'm going to pour about an ounce and a half, maybe even a more, into my shot glass and into my martini shaker. So one and a half. Ooh, I can smell that vermouth. And then this recipe calls for one eighth of a shot of the green chartreuse. So I'm gonna see how close I can get. It's just basically the tiniest little drop so that looks like that is going to be perfect for that. I'll just pour that in and give my martini shaker a good little shake. And as soon as this entire martini shaker is cold, it is ready. All right, so that was about 20 shakes. And I'll just take off the top and pour that into my glass. That is looking fabulous. It just has the tiniest tinge of green to it, which is amazing. And then I will finish that off with a lemon twist and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, so I've got my lemon here and I've just given it a quick wash because goodness knows who was touching it when it was at the store or what was going on. And then I've just got a plain little vegetable peeler and usually there is a specific tool. I can't find mine right now. I know it's around here somewhere, but just basically start to peel a little sliver of the lemon peel just like that. And what I'm actually gonna do is cut that in half, just lengthwise. And I'll show you what I'll do with that in just a sec. Okay, so here is our little piece of lemon zest from the lemon itself. I'm going to just squeeze that and run it around the rim of the glass, just like that, all the way around. And then twist it Whoop, that one actually broke, but that will just release the flavors and into the glass it goes. Cheers everyone, I hope you enjoy. And if you liked my video, just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. Follow me on Snapchat, on Twitter, on Instagram, and Facebook. I'll link all of those below. If you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much.